take morning bath. Morning. Looks a little dim. You know why? Because I'm headed to the airport. 604. We're headed to Premier Orlando and my phone keeps falling in the seat. Oh. That kind of morning. So yeah, I'm letting my hair finish air drying here. But I did work on this bling glow. Melanie Mills, I'm trying her new Peach Deluxe. And of course, this is a little bit of the uh, Juvia's Place blush palette. Look at that. Lip of gloss, I'm gonna actually add some mascara in a minute right now. I just have lash conditioner on, so I'm looking a little cray cray, but it's six o'clock in the morning. You know, she'll be cute when it's necessary, okay? So yeah, um, this is the beginning of so yeah, this is the beginning of my summer vlogging series. Yay! Literally, we are traveling so much in the next couple of weeks that it's just going to be insane. So there's not going to be any time for me just to be in studio recording. So, you know, I figured we would just start a summer vlogging series. Like, that will do a couple things. It will make sure that I have enough content for you guys. Be able to share the amazing places that we're going, see some of the shows, and hopefully you'll be able to see the shows, but at least you know where I am. And um, it will also make sure that I keep up with my camera because I will always have it in my hand. You feel me? Yeah, I'm excited to start this series. And like I said, we are headed to the airport right now. My flight is at 7.40. And funny thing, um, I was checking in last night, American Airlines, and I typically travel with a carry-on bag and a big tote. But <laughs> they've thrown a new little thing in there that if you're just traveling regular, not only do you have to check, obviously, a big bag, but if your carry-on does not fit under the seat, it is not considered a carry-on. Like, you no longer have access to the overhead bins. And this is brand new because I've literally flown, how many times this year, babe? Probably, Six, seven times, and that has not been the case. Probably like I did. more than that, maybe. Two yeah, probably. Yeah, I would say probably ten. But I've um, I'm almost getting tired. But I have traveled, you know, extensively through South. I mean, through American and Southwest is really the only carrier. I'm trying to. My arm is exhausted. But Southwest is the only carrier that I know of right now that you get free bags. But it's really not like a major hub for me to get that like a reasonable flight. So. Um, I'll just have to pay more attention, but luckily I checked in last night because most times I don't even check in until I'm literally headed to the airport, but I checked in last night and I got a chance to read through the new, um, I guess the new attention to boarding passenger situation and yeah, that was the case. So I'm up this morning at four o'clock putting all of my stuff for the show and putting it in a hang-up bag which is obviously a carry-on that fits under the seat and then I'm putting everything in my duffel. Earl um, gave me his Jan Sport backpack. What kind of backboard is this bag? Jan Sport. I mean I know it's a Jan Sport but what kind? You called it something. Jan Sport. I know but you called it something else. My bag. You called it a... Uh, my bag. So anyway, I'm going to show you this Jan Sport. <laughs> so this is what I'm carrying. And it is pretty, it's pretty durable. Like, there's a pocket here. So if you have to put your driver's license and stuff. And then there is the second part right here. Let me see if I can zoom it out a little bit. Zoom it out because I'm so close. There's another part right here. And I'll give you guys a better, better close up. But this is the second part here. So I have my camera equipment in here. I have like my calendars and all my documents in here and then there's another little part right here that's like for makeup and glasses and all that stuff so this to me is better than a duffel so I'm gonna have to invest in one since Earl has so kindly said that it's his bag we don't okay. ever want to take his bag okay we've been married 18 years he has his toys I have my toys this time he's making it so obvious that I am buying one of his toys it's called my bag to try to get 
checked into the airport. We're about 15 minutes away. I'm going to try and get checked in and I'm going to try and connect with you guys again when I get to the gate. Cross your fingers. The flight leaves at 740. It's now 615. <laughs> pushing it, but I have faith. See you soon. How long is the um, is the roll? Because I just flew with American maybe about two weeks ago. It's a it's not the it, it's not the rule of American. It's the type of affair that you okay. purchase. When you purchase it, all those pop ups come up. And I saw it on this ticket. I had not had it before. Right. It did. You didn't right. have this type of a ticket before. Okay. This has been going on for how long have we been doing this basic economy? A couple months now. Yep. And just. It's been about two, two or three months we've had this. Does it? it but it actually states that it's a basic economy when you first book basic it. Because I didn't see it when I first booked it, but I saw it when it let me check in last night. But it didn't send me the link to check in until last night. Okay. There's the manager right here. Okay. And I cannot get the charges to work on this thing. It keeps looping three times. Sheila's had to go over and do it. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, um, I'm a YouTuber, and I'm having issues getting a YouTuber. Never mind. I, I just I record videos. So anyway, I'm doing a summer vlogging series, and we were. I was showing how I checked my big bag in, and how I um, how I was traveling with American, and why I travel with American. I compiled all my stuff down. It told me that I could have one. Item, item and I could have I have a in a back but it said I could have a personal item. Just one person if you're in basic economy so okay. one person and I'm okay so now an item underneath yeah. the bag and I mean, that backpack must be my okay. so you had to pay for that. Okay, so weird. what I want to do is show this will not fit so what basic economy actually states. Because when I checked in, Look at your I, I get it, but I'm asking can I record it? That was why they called you down here to tell me if I could record it. I want to record Let's take a picture of you. We Do you hear anything? Do you hear anything? 
the car is on. What? Whew. So I have to get a few things for the show tomorrow. I want to get all of this running around stuff out the way before I can go shopping. So, um, but first, I think I'm going to grab me some of these Swedish meatballs. I know, I, I mean, I'm just a kid at heart. I love getting these Swedish meatballs. So, we're going to do that first. Go Ikea. Go Ikea. You can see I pulled these curls down too. And they're not doing too much of anything. But that hat is making me sweat. So, yeah. Especially with two kids, they ruin everything. I love busy patterns because I think that you can kind of create calmness to them. So, for example, this one right here. For example, that. Like, my sisters would say, that is so busy. But just think, you're going to put, you have white sink, white toilet, white towel. Everything's white. You need just a pop of color. Do a spray of flowers. A nice floor mat a beautiful mirror and boom that becomes your focal instead of doing a full wall you just do the space and if you get tired of it i mean you only paid 14.99 for it so but i got my eye on that rock there my eyes on it Me some Ikea. These right here. Get me all the way together. But those light fixtures, I can just really see me decorate my butt off. Like, they, it, that store is so inspiring to me. So, anyway, I need to map quest and find out where Walmart is. Of course, you can't ever come to another town without coming to Walmart. So, I have to go to Walmart. There's an Ulta right here, though. Like, should we sneak in there? from Walmart I will say that my current situation with my phone charger is not cooperating because it's requesting the I guess like the USB port and I guess because that is detached from the base it's charging my phone extremely slow so I just picked up this I don't know if you can see it but it is a dual USB auto charger and it looks like that so it's purple so hopefully i can keep up with it and the guy told me to put it in the double a port because that will make my phone charge faster 
um, I'm using currently the S7 and I do have it all the way down so it is black. I'm going to try to see if I can make this work. And why do we always do this plastic like this? Like it is really like a razor. Alright, so he said to get my cord and put it in the double A. Ooh, it's not going in at all. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I see you, Sarah. Put it in there. Come on, come on. Let this ten dollars be good, honey. I don't see a fast charge. I'm not measured. It's saying not measured. Okay, so let's go. So it's plugged up. It, it lit up extremely fast, but it's saying not measured. My phone will tell me if something is quick charging. And if I have the, like the wall part, the adapter, then it makes it fast. So right now, I'm gonna go back in my apps and turn everything back on. Oh, but she's charging. It went from 3% to 4%. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna sit here for a minute. Let's just take a look, see. So I also got the Equate wipes. This is what they look like. And these are the Pre-Moisten Towelettes 10. I got the 10 because, oh, that is not cute. Oh, I hate that when my glasses do that. Press, press, press to bless, bless, bless. I just made that up too. That was real cute. So anyway, I got these Equate wipes because this is the travel size. And between Mike and myself, we will use these up. But I do have my Estee Lauder makeup remover that really, it turns from like a makeup remover into almost a hydrating face mask. So I put that on, take all my show makeup off while I'm in the shower. And then I come back and wipe my face with one of these because I hate ruining hotel towels. So I picked those up for not, I think they were under $2.00. Of course, although I'm trying to give sugar up or at least, you know, pull back from so much sugar. I mean, a girl can't travel without her nerves, okay? I'm hoping this lighting is good, but a girl can't travel without her nerves. And then my newest obsession might got me started back on this. This baby food. Like, look. So, I can't, like, typically eat while I'm in the shows, but I can use this like it's a drink. It's almost like puree so i'm not able to travel with my blender for my smoothies and stuff but this you guys get some ice oh my god baby food and we're talking about like 70 calories pack so technically this will be breakfast this is 140 calories <gasps> shut up so i have i got the gerber peach one I know this guy's looking at me like, what in the hell is she doing? I got the pear pineapple. Like, this is going to be yummy. Mm-hmm. I think I got two of the pear ones. I did. I did. I got two of the pear ones. Pear pineapple. Two of that one. That just sounds amazing. Like, I'm going to open that now. That's going to be lunch. And this one is the apricot mix with fruit or mix with mixed fruit all right let's see what happened with the, with the charger seven percent she's working she's working she's working she's working um yeah it's hoping that my phone will be fully charged in one hour and 34 minutes that is definitely better than what i was getting because the other way was draining my battery so shoot i gotta go in the dollar store i need to get mirrors hand mirrors and they always have the cutest ones and I need some waters some of the ice the flavored ice waters okay I'm gonna do that I'm gonna make myself do that so I'm gonna run to the dollar store we done by three o'clock so I'm still doing good and they don't get here until seven tonight so I'm doing real good so yeah <laughs>
Dollar Tree, done! Look at that beauty. She's just sitting there waiting for me. <laughs> yes! Final thing done. And it's 3.05. I did good. All right, so this was the Dollar Tree. And a few things. I always talk about having towels. I like to have these types of towels so when my hair is a little damp, I can have a fresh towel on my neck. And then these were two for a dollar. These are good, thick face cloths that if I ruin them with makeup, I brought my own. Me. They didn't have those ice waters, but they had these propel waters. And I got watermelon, kiwi, strawberry, like I can feel me opening this one right now. And grape. So these are supposed to be water beverages with electrolytes and vitamins, zero calories. Um, and it's from the makers of Gatorade. So, can't be that bad from the makers of Gatorade. So, I like to have some type of water because seriously, when I'm in show mode and I have a microphone on, there is very minimal downtime. But if I can have me a bottle with the top, then I'm a little bit more conscious to drink my water. And... I don't know. I mean, I always get to the cash wraps and have to get Slim Jims. Like, these are so not good for you. But these are hot. I've never had the hot ones. And, of course, you can't have a hot one without the regular one because you need the regular one to cool the hot one down if it's too hot. You feel me? My logic. Mm. And, lastly, can't have be in front of a client with talker's breath. So, gum. For the record, I do like the peach baby food better than I like the pear. I just knew I was going to like the pear better because it was different. Um, the only other one I haven't tried is the mixed fruit. So I, would, I did go ahead and drink two of those. That was my snack. And I'm about to pop into this water and get back on this highway. Alright guys. So I just had to pull my camera back out because I need you guys to see what I'm seeing right now like I didn't even know hotels like this still exist like no shade I'm just saying can you see the rust that I'm seeing on this clothing rod do you think that I am going to remotely put my shit on that Excuse my expression, but I mean, yeah, y'all. Okay, in this safe, would you feel like your shit is safe in a safe that look like this? Holes in the wall, y'all. I, I I can't make this stuff up. I I I mean, I'm just gonna turn this light on. I just need y'all to see this bathroom, and unfortunately, hopefully, you're following me on Snap. Because at some point, I'm going to have to put this on snap. But I just want you to see what I am seeing. This is mold. This is mold. The shower is white. It looks deceiving. But my ass is not. Oh, shit. What is this? I don't even know what the hell that is. Oh my god, I am not believing it. this floor. Mold and shit all on this floor. Y'all, look, 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 look. This carpet. I'm just itching looking at this carpet. I am itching. This bed, unfortunately, I'm sorry, this light is not good. And I don't even know what to do to make this light up. I'm just trying to stand over here and maybe just catch the light. Oh my God, y'all. This bed. If I came in here with one of those lights, 
Let me do this. Is that gonna help the situation any? If I just, don't it look like, I, I, I don't even know what this look like. I mean, it look like I'm getting ready to go get in the casket, but you know what, who ass ain't getting in it is me. I am not, my boss is going to flip. Oh my God. Oh my God, the rain has stopped. I'm getting ready to get my ass up out of here. I'm going to let y'all see the outside and excuse my expression, but excuse my expression, excuse my expression, but this is probably the worst hotel ever, ever. Like there is no amount, there's no price that can go on my safety. And right now I'm getting ready to get all of my shit right here. And we get ready to say, Au revoir, au revoir. We got to go. I stayed too long. <gasps> my, um, my, um, my presence is no longer needed here. Au revoir. I'm going down here. Get on this good elevator. But look, this, this is absolutely amazing. And you guys know the saying, don't judge the book by its cover. <laughs> Which I show you the outside of it. Woo! Jesus, take the wheel. This is so wet and slippery that somebody can literally break their damn neck. But I am that adamant to get to that car right there. All jokes aside. I, I can't make this stuff up. I, I mean, this is about the first day of my summer vlogging series. And I cannot make this stuff up. I don't know if I should go in right now and ask for a refund or should I wait and let Shanna ask for the refund. I'm not staying. And I think I'm a very flexible person. Um, I, You know, I'm all the way down to bringing my own towels so I don't mess up they damn towels. What? I wouldn't even put one of them damn towels nowhere near me. Like, I want to take a shower so bad, but... Not that bad, okay? I've been out all day. I've been traveling. I mean, I've literally been up since 4 o'clock this morning and traveling. You guys have been with me all day. This is absolutely insane. And right now in my mind, I'm hoping to have the guts to put this out on social media because people need to be informed of what happens I had the craziness this morning with American Airlines and let's go ahead and talk about it since I have a little bit of time shall we let's talk about it American Airlines has this new basic boarding or economy boarding I remember hearing about it on Good Morning America but I was traveling a lot then as I am now and I had not ever had a problem with American Airlines but today was the worst experience I received my boarding confirmation 
not boarding confirmation. I, like I'm so flustered. I received my check-in notification last night. Usually, I do not check in the night before. I check in when I'm on my way to the airport, and I think I mentioned that this morning. But I read through the information, and it stated that I needed to, if you didn't want to pay for a check bag, you could only carry a luggage that would fit underneath the seat. So as long as you weren't using the overhead stuff, then you, you know, you're, um, you would be charged additional so my bag would but then they counted my backpack as number two so by the time all of this transpired I'm at the gate flight is about to leave I don't have time to go back to the kiosk outside and check my bag in and them charge me $25 they had to check my bag at the gate $25 an additional $25 service charge so $50 not to mention my luggage that I checked in that was $25 so we're talking $75 one way in check bags <sighs> oh I need to go by the convention center and I need to drop this stuff off and by that time I'll have to go to the airport and pick Shanna and Mike up and that would have been my date but Trust and believe this situation with this hotel. I have taken pictures and I have recorded it. And um, I think she's going to be upset. My intent was to take my luggage out so I would have space for their luggage. Um, but that's not really an option because I'm not putting my luggage in that room. I ain't. I, I just can't do it. Let's get a little bit of footage, shall we? Inside the venue of Premier Orlando. Still right now. makeup, hair, and nails. So basically all things beauty. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can find our space. Because I really need to get this stuff out of the car. So let's just see. This is what it looks like, folks, before we come in and do our thing. All right, let's go to the car now. I have my bed. Look at this. Say hi. hi this is my mom. This is my mom. <laughs> Isn't she pretty? She sounds just like us. She'll fit in. <laughs> Shanna, say hi, Shanna Maynard. 
And you guys, she handled. I love the lipstick. Yeah. Oh, so pretty. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you so much. We have a few more colors, so. Mike? Yeah. Mike is trying to get ready to get gone. He's leaving us. He just oh, got to me and he's leaving. He said he'll be back in the morning. You, you want to go to a club? No. Why not? Absolutely not. Bitch, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't going to happen. I'm tired. Had I got me a good nap earlier, oh my God. I probably would have gone and quite the show. This is the messiest room, by the way, you guys. This is my mom's house, and this is the messiest room. She called, she told me, she told me all questions. She's like, oh my God, I closed this door so nobody would yeah. see it. And it was the and first fucking door you opened. <laughs> Nobody cares because right, that fucking hotel room. Oh, oh yeah. Are you gonna tell them? Oh, no, they, saw tell them. Oh, they saw it. They saw it. Oh. <laughs>